Hey everybody, uh, hopefully you've had an opportunity to read my, oh, let me back up, Dan Jones, uh, St. Anne's Catholic Parish in Grants Pass, Oregon, uh, youth coordinator, um, RCIA occasional teacher, and uh, all around awesome bald guy. Okay, so hopefully you've had an opportunity to read my last couple of blog posts at, at STA and, and EGP.com blog, SaintAngp.com blog, regarding uh, the gifts of the Holy Spirit. So I mentioned in my last blog post that the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit can kind of be broken up into two categories, if you will. Um, the first and, and four of those gifts being um, gifts associated with the will of the faithful or the will of God as manifested in the faithful, the mind, um, cognitive gifts, uh, the, the aspect of our lives that helps us think so that we might behave better, more effectively, uh, more helpfully. So knowledge, understanding, wisdom, right counsel. Those are the four gifts that I would just, I would just call um, uh, willful gifts or the gifts of the will, um, the gifts of the mind. And then we've got three others, right? So we've got two that are very similar uh, and then one that is a little different, fortitude, piety, and fear of the Lord. And I would categorize those three as outward expressions of the Holy Spirit manifest inside us, which other people experience when they relate to us. So people should be experiencing our expression of fortitude or our expression of piety or our expression of fear of the Lord. And of course, one of those people, of course, could be Jesus Christ. But primarily, those would be the three gifts that others get to see the Holy Spirit manifest in us. Uh, knowledge, understanding, wisdom, and right counsel can, of course, be experienced by those around us, our brothers and sisters in Christ, or just anybody, even the non-religious or the non-believer. Um, but I would take fortitude and piety and right counsel to be those, those mm, characteristics, which if we are exercising them, people will always recognize, even if we don't speak knowledge or speak wisdom or, um, I don't know, write something uh, that demonstrates an understanding of some concept or situation. Okay, so you got it. Let's talk about fortitude for a second. In this video, we're gonna talk about fortitude. Um, in my blog post, when I talk about superheroes and their powers and abilities and what makes a superhero truly super, not being the ability to shoot lasers out of their eyes or something like that, but it's really that internal force that drives them to be super. Fortitude is one of those. Might fortitude manifest itself as strength? Of course, yes. But it's much deeper than that. Some might say that it's a form of courageousness. And I would argue, yes, yeah, it is, it is a form of strength and courage and bravery, but it's not stupid. Fortitude, um, maybe, maybe you think it's cool to jump off of high cliffs in the water. Um, I might say it's a little reckless. Just because I choose not to do it doesn't mean I'm not cour courageous or not brave or I don't have fortitude. I just choose not to be reckless. And just because you choose to be the type of person that jumps off a cliff or a bridge or whatever, that doesn't necessarily make you a person full of fortitude either. You could be brave, but I might argue you're also kind of stupid for jumping off a bridge. You got that part? It's not reckless. Fortitude is not reckless. Okay. I swear they do it on purpose. Okay. So you understand that aspect of fortitude. Fortitude goes even deeper. Perseverance is a virtue manifested through fortitude. 
perseverance, the ability to just keep going. So when I talk about Captain America, like I did in my last post, as being a perfect example of a, of a man whose story is always climax with his great fortitude and perseverance, his desire to keep going at whatever the cost. He's always the last man standing. That's what I'm talking about. It's not the fact that he's some super soldier with serum coursing through his body and he has like uh, extra speed and strength, uh, you know, can, uh, Olympic runner, all that kind of stuff. No, no, no. We're talking about that force inside him that keeps him going. And, and the Marvel movies, the MCU movies, just have, have highlighted that in one great quote from Captain America in like every one of the movies that he's in. And I'm gonna show you what that one great quote is, if I can get everything working here. Here we go. Old newsies from movies back in the 40s, right? There's Steve Rogers, all weekly nerdy Steve, Steve Rogers, just sitting there watching us, wishing, wishing that he could become part. Yeah. Show some respect. Yep. And the guy with no patience. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh. Oh, and he gets up again. Oh, there's the shield. How about that? Oh. I can do this all day. Isn't that wonderful? I can do this all day. Here, let's jump ahead. Just a kid from Brooklyn. Oh. I can do this all day. <laughs> okay, let's jump ahead. Ooh, don't use that word, kids. Ooh, right in the sternum. Ooh. Captain America doesn't do that. He doesn't stay down, does he? He's always the last man standing. Yeah, I can do this all day. Yep, and then he just keeps going. I'm gonna show you a little bit more because it's, it's the most, it's the saddest scene in my opinion of all the Marvel movies. Captain America, of course, I can do this all day, you know. Takes out Iron Man, breaks the shiny thing in his chest. Oh, the sad music. There's Bucky. Shield doesn't belong to you. My father made that shield. And then, it's the saddest mic drop in history, right? Okay, check this one out. This, of course, is, is an amazing one. I have eyes on Loki, 14 to 4. I'm not Loki. I don't want to hurt you. Mm-hmm. 
I can do this all day. Yes, yes, we know, we know. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna so hey, the best example of that, I'm not gonna show you in the video, but the best example of that is when Thanos uh, in Infinity War has defeated everybody, everybody. The enemy of the earth has defeated everybody. Steve Rogers himself has gotten his rear end kicked. He's exhausted. And Thanos reaches for him with that gloved fist, right? And he's just going to crush him. And what, is, what does Captain America do? He, he grabs that thumb and he grabs that, that pinky finger and he bears down and he just locks his whole body into place and he doesn't let go. He doesn't let go of his enemy. He doesn't turn his back. He doesn't quit. And Thanos, look on his face. He's like, he, Thanos just crushed the Hulk at the beginning of the film, right? Thanos has like defeated everybody that they've thrown against him. He's, he's unbelievably powerful. And now he's got all the Infinity Stones. And there's, and there's a, a Captain America just holding that glove. And Thanos can't close it. Thanos can't snap his fingers. And he's shocked. He can't believe it. Well, we know how the rest of the movie goes. You can watch it if you haven't seen it before. The point is, that's fortitude. That's courage, that's strength, that's bravery, that's perseverance, that's a desire and a hope that a positive outcome will prevail. Goodness will prevail. Righteousness will prevail. No matter how long it takes. No matter how long it takes. A person with fortitude will keep getting up, keep grabbing whatever's available to them to keep going, won't let go and won't quit because they know that it's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do. Don't get it confused with stubbornness because stubbornness is more about pride. And as the Psalms tell us, or as the Proverbs tell us, pride before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. So don't believe that pride and stubbornness is the same thing as fortitude. All of the gifts of the Holy Spirit, including fortitude, will always have righteousness behind them. So during this time, this COVID crisis, everything that's going on, bear down. Be patient. Reach for God through prayer, through friends, through acts of service. Reach for whatever that you can, again, that has righteousness behind it, so that you can keep going, so that you can manifest outwardly to others the gift of the Holy Spirit through an expression of fortitude. Okay, next time we get together, We'll talk about uh, piety and fear of the Lord in the same video. Uh, and then after that, we'll start jumping into those other four more, more cognitive, reasonable, rational, mental gifts, uh, because they're kind of confusing and they all sound a lot alike. I want you guys to know I love you. I'm going to post this on the blog as well as here on YouTube and on the blog. Because I've been making all these YouTube videos, I thought I would share with you guys a whole bunch of my favorite YouTube channels. Um, go check them out there. They're goofy, they're fun. Um, yeah, and they're kind of me. So if you wanna learn a little bit more about me, go to the blog, check out those uh, uh, YouTube channels and you'll see kind of the stuff that I like to watch on YouTube. Not on TikTok, don't do TikTok. Okay, God bless you guys.